Morning guys, it's the Swordfish once again with some more Dota 2 gameplay. This time I'm playing as Earthshaker with the third installment of my slamming uh, gameplay. I'm calling it that even though the title does not said so, say so. And I do pretty well. Support as a good Earthshaker should. I actually don't. I'm sorry. I'm lying. And um, I got a couple kills. I have a couple misplays in this one, I believe. But anyway, still good. Still counts, whatever, right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the commentary today. Uh, I actually want to talk about Ukraine and Kiev. Uh, it's not Kiev, sorry. Ukraine and what's happening there. You know, I usually don't talk about news and whatnot, but in this case, it's kind of important. It's kind of close to home, relatively, because I'm a European. So, I want to talk about that, but I want to deal with that in a longer commentary with more detailed you know, commentary, and a better prepared commentary. It's just out of respect for the Ukrainians, to be honest. But this kind of relates to it, so it's gonna, it's gonna sort of will affect it. And whatever I say here relates to pretty much any culture, to be honest. Anyway, I was walking today through a, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't call it a bad part of town, but definitely not the best part of town, right? A, I mean, here, here where I live, it's not like America. It's really like the bad parts of town just means they have... They're slightly more poor um, than the <clears throat> richer areas of town, but it does not mean that they're fucking, you know, there's, there's crime everywhere and whatnot. You know, that's not, that's not it. Just so you have an idea of what I'm referring to with a worst part of town, okay? Everyone there is fine, you can walk there. I mean, maybe at 3 in the morning it's not the smartest of choices, but, you know, most of you get stolen from, it's not that big a deal, to be honest. As long as you're smart, obviously. Don't wear your Rolex, your golden Rolex here. Not that I have one, but if I did, I wouldn't do so. Anyway, so I was walking through there, you know, and, and I always had this misconception, and I'm, I'm betting some of you did, if you ever, if any of you were born in sort of like a social class or like any posh social class or related a lot with posh people. And now that I am, I'm more, I'm more of a middle class person, but it, it, it still relates with middle class, I guess. Where I always had the misconception that maybe the, the, the people that were, um, I guess not as affluent, not as myself, but as my friends, were m m smarter, to be honest. I had the idea that they were more intellectuals, they praised us, they praised knowledge and whatnot. And today, I mean, kind of realized that they really don't. To be, I mean, it's obviously generalization, but like, there is, what I realized is that there's no social class which praises intellectuality uh, or knowledge or anything of the sort. In fact, there's no specific group of people either that does so, besides the pretentious people. But that's not what I'm talking about today. Or the hipsters, you know, but any acceptable group of people. And that's where I realized today, I had this epiphany as I was walking, that, hey, I actually had an epiphany. Knowledge is persecuted everywhere. Like, actually it's persecuted everywhere, but maybe in school. But in school, I mean, maybe by the teachers, but definitely by the students. I mean, any of you guys that have gone to fucking school, you know that if you're smart, you get shunned for it. I mean, nobody wants to be the nerd in class and whatnot, right? Sure, there's some attractive smart guy who did well, but definitely smart is not the trait that defines him. It's because he's attractive. And someone that's just legit just smart, you know, maybe you admire him because he's smart, but it's never, some, it's never a trait that's actually, like, you know, amazing. And the worst thing about it is that... Even though I do say most people are dumb and most commentators and whatnot, I do believe that the majority of the population is actually very capable of doing any of the things I say, doing and thinking any of the things I do and think. You know, they, they, they're in the same intellectual level I am, that I am and that most of my viewers are at, right? It's it's stupid to think otherwise. Right? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We got that covered. So now that we cut covered that d is not a pretentious douchebag, I think, I ponder. The issue of, why are these people not doing, well, obviously, why are they not talking about the same things I do is pretty obvious. But why are these people not, you know, thinking the same way, thinking the same shit I do? Why are these people not trying to question um, the, the system and whatnot? Why are they praising um, stupid, retard rappers with moronic, violent lyrics instead of beautiful music? I'm not saying that all rappers aren't like this, but they praise specifically the ones who have the retard lyrics. No. Why, or any, or people that plays pop or techno or any of these bullshit, you know. Why are they praising the stupid culture instead of actually, you know, trying to um, acquire knowledge and, and valor and all this shit if they are perfectly capable of being what, I would, what people would usually call intellectuals? Why if the majority population is, is that, has the capability to be intelligent, why do they choose not to? Well, there's two reasons for this. 
First one is because our idea of knowledge is skewed. Our idea of what an intelligent person is, is completely skewed. An intelligent person, we've always had the idea that is someone that either learns fast or can think at a really high skill level. That's completely not true. That's BS, I can tell you. An intelligent person is someone who finds, tries, sorry, who so has the curiosity, you know, Einstein said, I'm not, I'm not intelligent, I'm just extremely curious. Not, not to go by his quote, but he was right. Someone intelligent who ha is someone who has the curiosity uh, to ponder all these topics. As someone who is, okay, understanding obviously fall is part of it, because you need to understand what you're talking about most of the time, but someone who, who has the, the will to delve upon topics like um, novels or like uh, science or, you know, has the will to learn is someone intelligent in my point of view and I think it should be in most people's. And that's the first misconception we should mm, take away, you know. We should uh, try to help anyone, whatever learning disability they might have, even they have difficulty to be intelligent and not dishearten them from being intelligent, you know. Not, not, um try and, and, and just fuck them and say, no, you no, you can't. You should just be with the cool kids and be and be a sportsman. No, no, no. I mean, if he wants to be intelligent, allow him to. Obviously, he should be aware of his own, you know, uh, limits, of his limitations and whatnot, but definitely allow him to be intelligent and, and, and research all he wants and love whatever he wants, definitely. And be, we should condone this and, and approve of it and help it. And the second reason why we, why our culture shuns upon knowledge so much is the fact that well, we do. Sorry, there's a f the people, sorry. The second reason why um, until like everyone's smart but nobody actually displays it is the fact that we shun knowledge. For some reason, our culture is against this idea of having knowledge, uh, and most importantly, our culture is against the idea of having lots of like scientific knowledge or some shit like that. Like the the argument that that um that people have against global warming, the argument that the religious people have against um, creationism and whatnot, you know? It's it's ludicrous to think that this should be even allowed in a society like ours, in an advanced society like ours. I'm not saying God exists or God does not exist, but definitely the idea of evolution is proven. There's no there's no way around it. You know, it's just the, the, the origin of species, maybe not so much, but the, the idea of evolution is definitely proven. There's no way around it. There's enough evidence to back it up, blah, 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 blah. Why are people still allowed to not believe in this shit? And why are they, um, you know, not not um, applauded, but like, I mean, praised for their own stupidity? And call and, and, and it's called defending your beliefs. Not defending your beliefs, it's defending your fucking retardedness. We should not allow people that don't believe in global warming either to fucking go run rampant and say, Yeah, it's all the government, it's all fucking, it's all a conspiracy, blah. No, fuck these people, hit them in the head and, and let them die. I mean, no, honestly, the, the, these people should not be allowed to, I mean, freedom of speech is obviously important, but these people should be, should be wildly categorized as retards, as idiots, as people who are going against piles and piles of evidence. We should be able to rationalize all arguments, and whichever arguments are not rationalized should be considered just dumb and stupid. And that's that's what it should be in general. If nobody can if nobody can find supporting evidence for your claim, then your claim is false, and that's it. And I wish we were such a rational society, but we're not. And the fact that we're not such a rational society makes us mad at people who do have evidence. Because we believe, it's happened to me before, I got mad at people who, who knew more than I did. I mean, not not specifically in topics about this, but in definitely in topics about, you know, when I discuss like, certain cultures and stuff, people from their own hometown obviously had more evidence and more personal experience than I did. And they got and they and I got mad at them. I didn't tell them that I got mad at them. I, I wasn't they didn't mean I was wrong, but I hate being wrong. And when I saw the piles of evidence that they were supporting against my claim, and I realized I had little to none, I realized they're right, and I got mad because they're right, and I can't prove them wrong. That's when most people get mad at intelligent people because you, they can prove you wrong, they can prove themselves right, and you have no way of debating it. But we should not get mad at these people. We should accept that we're getting mad at these people because we're jealous. And envy and jealousy should not be the things that are, you know, kind of, kind of, um, hindering our human progress. That is stupid. That is, that is ridiculous. Why even, why are we even considering these things? I'm aware that I'm envious and I'm, that I'm jealous. I'm aware that when I'm losing an argument, I get mad at the person. But at least I'm self-aware enough to accept the fact that, hey, they're right. You know, I, I won't admit it, but definitely they're right. And I won't preach my ideas anymore because I know you're right and I know my ideas are stupid now. And that's, that's this kind of like 
culture we should teach. Not not the culture where envy is right, where freedom of speech is always correct. I completely believe in freedom of speech and, and stupidity and whatnot, but you know, also people should be shunned by society and not accepted as, oh, celebrities, or oh, amazing people, or oh, standing up for your religion, whatever. No, fuck you. Fuck you. Simply, fuck you. Don't stand up for shit that is not true. <laughs> if you can't back up your claim with substantial evidence, goodbye. Simple as that. And that's how we fix our beautiful society. That is, that's... That's how we fix our beautiful society. We allow until, and that's how we make all the smart people that are not showing it, show it. Just stop shunning knowledge and just accept the new meaning of knowledge, which is pretty much curiosity. Because anyone who's curious to learn is smart in my eyes. And that's the commentary today, guys. Hope you learned something. Hope you go out and preach it because I supported my claim with evidence and, and uh, reasoning and rationalization, whatever. And feel free to debate it in the topic, in the comments below. And if I see that my claim is wrong and stupid, I will shut my mouth. No, not shut my new YouTube channel, but shut my mouth and I will admit it to you guys. I'm dumb, you know? We all, we all make mistakes. We're all wrong sometimes, right? That's also something we should accept. We're all wrong sometimes. I have a hard time accepting that, but it's a fact. Anyway, I'll see you guys uh, next time with some more mm, the swordfish commentary. Yeah. Just press the subscribe button to see me next time, huh? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, you like it. You like it. Okay, see you guys next time.